What's up guys? Welcome to your 122nd Android tutorial for the new Boston. And again, just a quick review here. Uh, what we've done in the last tutorial, uh, we basically created a long that is going to be our row ID. And we're going to pass that long into these methods called get name and get hotness. And that's going to return some kind of a string for us, which we're going to set uh, to our return name. And we're just going to you know, set our edit text to whatever that string is being returned. So now let's go into our hot or not Java class, and what we're going to do is we're basically going to set up, uh, you know, both these methods, and they're pretty much going to be the same because again we're getting the row ID and we're just going to return a string of some sort. So again, it's pretty simple uh, for the most part. This is review. Again, we need a cursor that's going to read some data for us. So let's set that up. It's cursor C equals our database again. We're going to query it, and again, we need to enter a table name, which is going to be our table name, and we're also going to set up you know, our columns name, which we're just going to copy from this get data up here. It's going to be pretty much the same, or it is going to be the same. And uh, again, that's what our columns is going to be uh, for our second parameter, just our string array that has all of our columns in our database. And this time, we're actually going to do something a little different. What we're going to do is we're going to, for the selection here, we're going to set up uh, basically our long or our row ID that we're getting passed in. So what we're going to do is we're going to say key underscore row ID and then we're going to say plus equals in quotations and then plus our L that we're getting passed in. And then everything else is going to be set to null all right, so basically the only thing that's different, again, is for a third parameter, instead of having this set to null, what we're doing is we're getting our row ID and we're setting that equal to whatever is being passed in. Again, what's being passed in is that uh, whatever is in that edit text for a row ID. Now what we want to do is we want to check if the cursor is set to null, so we're just going to say if cursor is not set to null, again, that's expression mark, we're going to basically return the data. So what we're going to do is we're going to say we have to first set our cursor to move to first. You might be thinking that's the first row in our database, but actually again since we're passing in which, which row we're, we're, our cursor is looking for, it's going to move to you know this row that we're passing in. And we have to call that method for this uh, you know for us to look through it. And then all we're going to do is set up a string called uh, hotness or actually name. We're going to set this string equal to our cursor dot get string, and we're going to put one here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to return our name. So again, just to quickly talk through everything that we've done, um, because pretty much our our get hotness is going to be the same thing for the most part. Uh, again, we set up our columns and we set up our cursor which is going to look for the row that's being passed in and then as long as our cursor is not null we're going to move to that row for the most part and we're going to get the string data of our first column now quickly just to go back uh, because this is a little bit new I'm just going to scroll up to where we said get data before because this is kind of the same concept uh, we had you know um, something like this instead of a number but basically what we're doing is uh, we have three columns again our column row, column name, and column hotness uh, and last time we set up these ints but basically what's happening is our, col our row was our first column so that's at position zero our name is our second column that's position one and this is position two so if we're returning our name we can also just say if we know which column it is we can just say position one um, which will be, be our second column because again everything in programming for the most part starts at 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. So uh, this will be our, our name column and then we're going to return our name and then if our cursor is set to null it's just going to return a null so it's only going to return our name if this works here. So that's kind of the setup we're just going to copy this and paste it within our or actually copy right here and paste it within our hotness and all we're going to change is basically which cursor we're getting 
because again our hotness is in our third column which is 0, 1, 2 um, so we're going to look for you know the hotness column and it's going to get hotness something like that um, and it's going to return that hotness so now let's just run our application and make sure everything works again for the most part this this section we're just getting the name and stuff uh, it's kind of review because we've done it before but again I just kind of wanted to talk over it because I'm not sure if I uh, specified it clearly so again let's just view our database we have two entries um, so let's say we want the second entry we're gonna put uh, whoops, two here and then we're gonna say get information as you can see it pulls up Samantha and seven which is again our second entry um, and we can also do one get information pulls up this uh, now just just a note if we put like five it's gonna give us an error and it's gonna crash our program so hopefully the person enters the right you know the right number but uh, I'll, I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial uh, have a good one